Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. And wouldn't you know it, the markets are up. So really been coming up since uh, couple, about 6.30 a.m. Central. So not really sure what has gotten them into the want to move up, but S&P up uh, 0.42%. So let's go take a look at it. See how close we are to all time highs. Getting getting real close. VIX down again, so it's down under thirteen now. So not good for wide zero DTE strikes, short strikes. Anyway, man, yesterday I was in power hour. I was. Had a real nice green day going on, and then a minus thirty seven hundred in during power hour put me in a ba basically a scratch. Really needed that. Roblox up ten percent. Had earnings. A fifteen year old's going to like that because. He owns Roblox stock. Morning, Ken. Morning, Benji. Morning, Fast. Morning, El Piero. <laughs> Yeah, so I saw Snap was down like 30% or something like that. Yeah, it's down 31%. Well, that'll cancel out my son's Roblox because he has Snapchat too. Yeah, that's a good idea to get to, that's kind of, kind of did the same thing, Deox. Morning, MRP. Morning, Rookie Trader. Yeah, not a big Snapchat fan. That's how, that's how teenagers communicate, man. It's hard to, it's hard to tell your kid no, can't communicate through Snap when all of his buddies are on there. Bell has rung. Today, we trade the two days to expiration option chain to DTE. <laughs> S&P opened at about 49.73, pushing up all-time highs. I knew it was getting close.
Roku coming down. Meta pushing up. Dow up 142, NASDAQ up 97, S&P up Morning, San Ray. So some stocks pushing up, some, but several pushing down. So See Benji question. Have you considered a great trade? Are you are you referring to like the mighty nineties and runners and things? So I don't look at it as to be in line with my profit. I look at it as risk management. So the iron condor is a defined risk trade buying a put and call there's it's it's unlimited there's no it's not defined well i guess it is defined risky technically um but you can you can make profits and lose profits much quicker so they're two totally separate trades and so i'm not not really looking at it as in line with profits i mean you know these are 10 15 20 minute trades whereas the other ones could be hours so i do it based on you know if i've got if my average if my medium size is 3000 in buying power like i tip you know i typically know if it goes south on me you know, if, if it's a volume runner, I know where the exit is on a volume runner. If it's a continuation runner, like there's a point in the price movement that is a, is an exit. I know if it hits that and I have to exit, you know, typically I'm going to be okay with that amount of loss. <clears throat> so I do it based on what my potential amount of loss would be on the trade rather than profit. And right now, I have not had any profits, at least in my account, in February in zero DTE. And I was, had a really had a really good day going yesterday until one silly power hour trade that S and P pushed up on me, or actually I think it came down and stopped me out, and then it bounced. All right, so we'll be getting a, we're getting our second volume bar. 
So we'll have to see if we get any. As big as the first MU, about halfway there. We're about halfway through this five minute bar. Vic's still coming down. Roblox getting the bar, but again, it, it had earnings, so I'm not really, really I don't really trade stocks that you know, had had earnings before the market opened. So nothing really st sticking out right now in terms of volume runners. MU would be the closest. And I don't think MU is going to get there. I mean, it's pretty close. Let me check that and toss. Yeah, I mean, you didn't quite get there and think or swim. Although it looks like it did in 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 in. Uh, Orion, but didn't quite get there and think or swim. Yeah, but those are those are opposites. Two things on Roblox. First off, they're opposites where they need to be the same. Secondly, if they had earnings. So and it appears strong earnings. So yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt that it continues to go up today. But I don't really trade the Mighty 90 runners when the, that stock has earnings that morning. And you bouncing a little bit. I get into a little MU. Here. See, so I would trade the eighty three puts in MU. See if I can get filled at a dollar ten. <laughs> Build it a dollar ten in MU. I'll play this as a 
downside volume runner. It's really close in think or swim. I've played them like that before, and it definitely looks like it in Orion. Yeah, sometimes when they're really super close, I mean, you can play them. I've played them that way. And you can definitely get a better fill than me. It's still coming up. Tesla, potential mighty 90 taking shape. Although, the bar is getting pretty big, and there's two minutes left on this five-minute bar, so it might get as big as the first. So my exit in MU would be, it was above this bar right here. I'm actually going to add to my MU here. Build at 95 cents. All right, so I wanted to show resistance right there. And I would get out of half at $1.10. Wow, man, this bar. This bar is strong. I'm going to let this bar play out. Tesla bar is growing. Coinbase getting a, maybe a downside volume runner. I'm going to check Tesla. In think or swim? Yeah, that bar is just right there, right? About, just about as big. See what kind of bounce we get here in Tesla. S&P coming down. See, Tesla, I would trade the 190 puts. Build at 495. Am you going against me, darn it? All right, am you got to close? That one's not going to feel good. Build to 82 cents. So should have went with my gut on that one. Should have went with my gut on that one. And the meta strong, wow. I look at MU, just complete reversal. Coinbase bouncing up a little bit, a little volume runner there. See Coinbase, I would trade the 118 puts.
Yeah, kind of wide. Build it three bucks in Coinbase. Tesla, I have an order at 5.45, close half. Yeah, I thought I'd get filled there. I'll get MU, just complete reversal. Meta pushing highs of day. Build at five forty five to close half my Tesla. Coinbase, I would close half at three thirty. <clears throat> I'll look at NVIDIA go. It's trying to bounce up. Video with a little mighty 90 there. Let's see if it pushes up one more time. Coin base to roll over here. And he's still going.
I've got an order in at six bucks to close another Tesla. So NVIDIA is still pushing up, has a mighty 90. So I'm going to get short NVIDIA here. Six ninety five puts. Sold at thirteen eighty. Coinbase trying to roll over. Build it six bu uh six bucks to close another Tesla. Let's see, I gotta get out of I gotta get out of I gotta get an order in NVIDIA here. I would get out of half my NVIDIA at 1520 and filled at 330 in Coinbase. <clears throat> Build at fifteen twenty to get out of half my Nvidia. Get out of a Another Tesla at six fifty. And Meta stands strong. Need two red bars out of NVIDIA here. I would prefer them sooner rather than later before it decides it wants to rip.
get out another NVIDIA here. Build at uh, 355 to get out of a. I just wanted to get out of one more NVIDIA. I'm sorry, Coinbase. Filled at 355 to get out of another Coinbase. So I only did two contracts in NVIDIA because it was so big. So I've gotten out of one. So I'm just going to hold the other to the second red bar. <clears throat> Tesla, beautiful, beautiful volume runner. Built at 650. And Tesla. I've only got one Tesla left. So nothing like being able to scale out on a volume runner. Uh, not doing Ro Roblox had earnings, Dark Avenger. So. Not trading, not trading that. Upside continuation runner AMD. Uh no, there's been, there's been no push. Look how tight the range is. It's just been chopped since the open. You want to see a good push. So like Nvidia potentially, like you know, you got a push, it's consolidating. You want to see it push again. Just consolidating below this pivot here. That's why I like to see two red bars sooner rather than later. Future's kind of chopping. Why, why are you still holding the MU put, Stark Avenger? The, the, the failed volume runner happens whenever you go above the price bar that's got the big volume bar. Close so another Coinbase at... Three And Meta staying strong. Yeah, you know, bloody Tesla wants to get. I just got one contract left. Mine's seen a nice push down. Get out of my last one. 
Yeah, just really tank here, buddy. Keep pushing. Would also like to see um, NVIDIA give me a second red bar. Build at 390. Get out of another Coinbase. Yeah, I just I just trade toss San Ray. Would be great to see a photo of your trading setup. What do you mean? What do you mean by my you mean like my monitors and all that? Well, it's just it's I mean I can I can show it to you. It, there's are, are you not familiar with Toss? I'm going to go ahead and get out of my NVIDIA here. Yeah, I mean, I could show you. It's just the strikes. That's all, that's all I'm looking at. Get out of another Coinbase here. Build it 430. And NVIDIA. Let's see. Build at sixteen ten to close my NVIDIA and Tesla. Getting rid of my last one. Built at seven forty. Wow, what a what a, what a Tesla trade that was. I have two coin bases left. Man, yeah, I wish I'd have had more Teslas. Get out of another Coinbase. Coinbase got another big bar. Build a 475 to get out of another Coinbase. And I only have one of those left. Wow, when you can scale out like this. It's too bad I took that... MU trade, although it's probably it's probably coming down now. No, wow, MU's hanging in, crazy. Uh, AMD, yeah, looks like a mighty ninety short. So AMD. I would trade the <clears throat> one seventy two point five puts. See if I can get filled at three forty. Filled at three forty. So what I have for my setup here is I've got one screen with price action, my laptop screen with the Discord, and another screen with my trading platform. 
So I got three screens I'm looking at. That's how I'm able to. That's how I'm able to answer questions and watch price. And for me, it's critical to have price movement on one. And I don't want to flip back and forth between price movement and my trading setup. But give me a second, I'll. Should just I'll show you toss if you want to see it. Okay, Coinbase getting a big volume bar now. So I mean I've only got one left. I get out of half my AMD at um, 375. I'm going to go ahead and close my coin. Go to four thirty. Close coin. Go to three seventy five in AMD. Close half. Coinbase now getting a big green bar. I'm glad I got out of that. Futures though, not they're just kind of chopping. Whoa, yeah, look at Netflix. Huh. So AMD gave us one red bar. Let's see if it'll give us another. Wild price action today in both directions. Okay, so AMD, man, I, I don't I don't want it to just blow up here. Got out of half my AMD. AMD is strong for the day. Yeah, Meta looks like a good upside continuation runner. NVIDIA pushing up. After, look at that mighty 90. Two green bars and out. That's what I want from AMD. Because AMD scares me a little bit here if I don't get two red ones.
getting you to push up on me. Things are getting strong. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut my AMD on this Mighty 90 and call her good. Things getting really strong. Wow, I was going to say, what just happened? It spiked up. Filled at 315 to close. So. Wow, this is some crazy stuff happening right now. So I am out of everything. I guess it was a good time to get out of everything. Holy moly. Not really sure what... Uh... What's going on? But man, the future has really jumped. Let me pull this over here. Since I'm not in any positions, this is my this is toss trade setup. And it's just it's just buying puts and calls. I mean, it's real simple. Yeah, you know, just adjust, adjust down, confirm and send. Pretty easy. Well, not in anything, so I think I'll jump off, take a look at zero DTE, but I'm not going to do any zero DTE until I can see this market calm down here. Not sure what's causing this big push up, but yeah, SP, SPX, I mean, that might hit 5,000 today. Futures already did. So good trades today, except for that MU one. Just got sucked into that one. Probably shouldn't have. So, but I will see everybody back during power hour. Peace.